In this example, we need to evaluate each of the following logarithms without using a calculator. So to quickly review, we know y equals log to the base b of x is equivalent to b to the y equals x. So if I'm trying to evaluate log to the base b of x, it is the power to which b must be raised in order to get x. So looking at our first example, we need log to the base 5 of 125. So we have to ask ourselves the base 5 raised to what number is going to give us 125. 125 is a power of 5. It is 5 cubed because 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So now what power do I have to raise 5 to in order to get 125? The answer is 3. So log to the base 5 of 125 equals 3. Always double check your answer is 5 raised to the third power equal to 125. Yes, you got it right. Looking at the second example, we need to ask ourselves our base 3 raised to what power is going to give us 1 ninth? Well, 1 ninth is 1 over 9 is 3 squared. And then how do I get my 3 up into the numerator? That's with the negative exponent. 1 over 3 squared equals 3 raised to the negative 2. So what is log to the base 3 of 1 ninth? It is negative 2. Check is 3 raised to the negative 2 power equal to 1 ninth? Yes. Next example, log to the base 49 of 7. So we have to ask ourselves, our base of 49 raised to what power equals 7? Well, what is the relationship between 49 and 7? 7 is equal to the square root of 49. And how do we write that as a rational exponent? It's 49 to the 1 half power. So log to the base 49 of 7 is just equal to 1 half. In the next example, I have the natural log of the cube root of e. Remember, the natural log is log to the base e of the cube root of e. So we need to ask ourselves, e raised to what exponent equals the cube root of e? Well, remember, a cube root can be written as a fractional exponent. So the cube root of e is just e to the one-third. So the natural log of the cube root of e is just equal to one-third. Going on to the next slide where I have a few more examples. The next one is the common log of 100. Well, what is the base of the common log? Remember, we're too efficient to write it. There's a base of 10 there. So we need to ask ourselves 10 raised to what exponent equals 100? Well, 100 is just 10 squared. So the common log of 100 is just 2. Next example, log to the base 6 of 6. Ask ourselves 6 raised to what exponent equals 6? Well, this one's pretty easy. What exponent is on the 6 we're too efficient to write? A 1. So log to the base 6 of 6 equals 1. 
Last example, log to the base 4 of 1. Ask yourself 4 raised to what exponent equals 1? Hopefully you remember that 4 raised to the 0 exponent equals 1. So log to the base 4 of 1 equals 0. Double check, does 4 raised to the 0 power equal 1? Yes.